G'day and welcome to The Libertarian Show. This week is a very special episode because I am here in my hometown of Perth, Western Australia. And today we're going to be talking about immigration. Every year, millions of people are denied entry into the United States. Some of us are lucky enough to get visas, but this is exceptionally difficult and the majority of people are not so lucky. Hundreds of thousands of people illegally cross the border into the United States every year. And what do most Americans want to do about this? Put up this wall. Probably not the smartest plan for a country that owes much of its success to immigrants. And really, what sort of a message does that send to the rest of the world about how America sees other countries and cultures? For a lot of Americans, I guess there's always something to hate about immigrants. They took our jobs! If they get to the United States and find a job, they're accused of being job stealers. But if they don't find a job, they're accused of draining the welfare system. Well, let's get a couple of things straight. Contrary to popular belief, even illegal immigrants pay tax, and their labour participation rates are much higher than that of native-born Americans, who claim more welfare. And it's not just that immigrants aren't a problem, we're actually really beneficial for American society. First of all, consider this. Right now, America educates some of the smartest and most talented people from all over the world. But then, when they've graduated, most aren't even allowed to stay. Did you know that the current waiting time for highly skilled workers from India, including doctors and engineers, is 70 years? That's seven zero. Doesn't seem like the best plan ever. Shouldn't we be sourcing the brightest and most able minds in the world and encouraging them to share their outstanding skills with our economy? I know what some of you might be thinking. Well, sure, we want the best people to come here, but what if unskilled people want to come here too? Isn't that just importing poverty? No. As our BAMF of the week, Sheikha Dalmia from the Reason Foundation explains, the workforce is a symbiotic structure and every skill level needs every other skill level in order to function. More doctors need more nurses, more nurses need more assistants, more assistants need more interns. We need everyone! Plus, since immigrants help lower the cost of labour, this means that a lot more businesses can actually afford to run. It also turns out that immigrants start new companies at a higher rate than the people who were born in America. Immigrants are actually creating jobs. So look, immigration is actually a good thing for the economy. And it's a great thing for immigrants themselves, who risk everything and move away from their homes and families in search of new opportunities and a better life. But there's an even more important point to be made. In the end, for me, it's simply a question of freedom. I'm not a criminal or a terrorist. Although being Australian, I probably am descendant from convicts. I digress. I feel that I have a lot to offer any community that I become a part of. And that leads me to our question of the week. Is it even right for governments to tell peaceful people where they're allowed to live? Or American business owners whom they're allowed to employ? I don't think so. But what do you think? Leave us a comment or a video response. And don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Thanks for watching.